So what you're looking at is a tube amplifier that is utilizing a pair of 1619 tubes. They're very unique. Um, I decided to build an amplifier based on a schematic and based on a couple of reviews that I've been reading online a few years ago. And I said to myself, well, you know what? Let me put something together. I have these tubes. Let me see what it sounds like. So let me show you. Let me just give you a quick tour around the amp and tell you more about it. So what we have here, Jan, 1619 tubes, metal tubes, input tubes, pair of, let me zoom in, 12AU7. That's the input and the driver tubes. is a pair of 5687s. So I had this amp for about maybe eight years, nine years. And I have to say it sounds very unique. I, I, I love the vocal. If you're into jazz, if you're into musicals, jazz, orchestra, the mid-range comes out very strong and pronounced. Um, I love this amp when I want to uh, play uh, vocals and, and records. This is one of my favorite One of my favorite amps right now is the 1619 um, It sounds wonderful in my opinion. Well, I say that I say that about all my amplifiers and I uh, like 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 you've seen my other amps. I like to build a Input for testing the bias so I can match the tubes for these output tubes and I also have an input for the phono jack if I want to put my my headphones so this amp has been with me now for nine years. Sounds amazing, sounds wonderful. If you have a project that you've been messing around with and you want to put something together, something different, try them out. At least I like it. Um, it sounds like sounds great. I think it puts out maybe a watt and a half out of each tube. So a watt and a half per channel. Plenty of power uh, for, for, for these little small speakers that I have here. Once again, I hooked them up to my, uh, I have a, 12, a pair of 12 inch Sansui's and this is it. All of my amplifiers have a handle. I like playing a handle because I like to carry it around. I think I have these biased at hot. I think I have them biased at 30 milliamps. Maybe maybe a little bit less, but, but not much. I like to run them hot. I like to run these tubes hot so I can get the most the most out of these tubes. Um, they do sound a little bit like the 6L6. Um, so if you're into the 6L6 output um, amplifiers, uh, almost, almost. Not quite, but it has its own signature, its own tone. Very neutral, very, very neutral. So if you're looking for a neutral amplifier, try it out. Right here, these right here are, are balancing pots for the regulator. I have them, um, I'll show you when I take them apart. I have them, uh, the, the hot, the voltage for the uh, filament regulated. And you zero out for the less for, for the least hum. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 1619 tube amplifier. Oh, I have these set up as an um, single ended mode. So this is a single ended amplifier that utilizing the 1619 tubes. Oh, I'm going to show you underneath. What's underneath. Now let me 
Let me pause the video and flip it over and show you what's under the hood. Hang on. Okay, let's take a look what's underneath. There's a lot of components cramped in there. Here is the output for the phono jack. As you can see, I've installed a couple of Russian paper and oil. There's a circuit board down there that I put together, high voltage. And this is a secondary 2.5 volt. Oh, that's right. These tubes run off of 2.5 volts. So the 1619 tubes are a 2.5 volt uh, uh, power for the heaters. And I do have them on DC to minimize any hum or noise. And like I mentioned, um, it sounds wonderful. It sounds very, very neutral, very clear. And down here is the, what I mentioned, for the heater voltage, minimal hum across each 6019 tubes. And here you go. These are the bias and resistors. Each bias and resistor for each of the 6019 tubes. These are the resistors for the biasing on the 5687 tubes. And these are the output high voltage transformer. I mean, power, um, capacitors. Let me flip that over so you can take a look a little bit. Like I've mentioned, I had this amplifier. Here's the diode for the DC. And like I've mentioned, this amplifier sounds amazing. I love the sound. It's very neutral. So if you're into neutral sound and into records, hi-fi, um, vinyl. Um, I suggest just try it out. Try out, build yourself a little 1619 um, amplifier. The tubes are available. They're very cheap. They're not expensive at all. And at least I like the sound. I mean, it's very neutral. I'm into neutral sound and it's not colored full. It's not colored at all. And here it is.